Someone say remove stamp duty. Yeah, remove that blood clot. What age should you move out by? It's not really about age. It's about how much property you got, blood. Yeah, because you should not be moving out to go on private rent. I know, obviously, some people, man like AY London in the building. Come on, fam. Um, it's not about the age. It's not about um, your age that you move out and that. It's about how much property you got. You don't want to move out to then go on private rent. You know what I mean? That's a waste of money. So you want to move out when you've got a property or two. I say stay at your parents' house as long as possible. And obviously there's a fine line between a 35, 40-year-old man still living at his mom's house and that. But let's say you should be out of your mom's house by the age of 30. Because think about it this way. If you truly was on your grind from when you are 20 years old, which you should fucking be, then you should have saved up enough money to buy a property and move out, like. Like, what, you, you you should be grinding between the age of 20 to 30. You should not be doing up parties too often. You should be going out once a month to treat yourself. Them guys there that are out every fucking week, I promise you, they're all broke. Most of them, blood. Like. Yeah, they got a lot of memories, but that's all in the past. These people talk about, oh, I want to live my life, live my life, blood. But in the future, when your head hits the pillow and you wake up, you're going to be broke. Fuck your memories, blood. Listen, all of them people there, yeah, who are old, who are in the conundrum, heat or eat, they don't know, yeah, if they should fill their belly and sit in a freezing cold yard or heat up their yard and have an empty belly and that. All of them people there, they all live their life and that. But look now, they're suffering. you got a grown-ass man going in his back garden, looking to the sky. Help! Real talk. I was doing a reaction video. You know, in reaction videos, man, do like cost of living. I ain't done one in a very long time. You know, like all six months and that. A man went into his back garden. This was somewhere out outside of London. I don't know where the fuck it was. The man walked into his back garden. Help! And he shouted, "Help!" <laughs> you might have laughed if I'm trying to not laugh. You know, <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. But who the fuck's he talking to, man? Who the fuck's he talking to? Man shouted out, help, you know. And the thing is as well, this is why it's so perfect, because this man's a big man, 65, 70 years old. And if you can walk, you're somewhat healthy. Eh? And more than likely... You know, his mental health is, is, is there, innit? Yeah, you don't have to be fucking Einstein or some rocket scientist and that, innit? So, as long as you've got an average brain and your health is average and that is okay, there's no excuse to be poor. There's no excuse to be failing in that. So, if you are born in this country and you get to the age of 65 and that, and you're walking in your back, your back garden shouting to the heavens and that, probably you're a fucking joke, man. You're a fucking joke, man, blood. What have you been doing for the last 50 years of your life, blood? Or 45 years of your life. From the age of 20 to 65. What have you been doing? Spending too much time socialising. But why do people socialise? Why do people do all this nonsense and that? Do you know what it is, yeah? We all have a void that needs to be filled. All of us. Even me. I fill my void with making YouTube videos, buying properties and that. I fill my void with something productive something that's going to bring me back some money we all have a void we need to fill that void you see it all the time i see it all the time i drive around and that and there's i see the same people doing you know like litter picking where they pick up rubbish and that some people will argue and say oh they're doing litter picking because they want to help out the community that's bullshit i'm not saying yeah there aren't rich people that every now and then, once every three to six months, they'll go out and do one day's litter picking for a couple of hours. And that. There are rich people that might do that. Cool. But I see the same people doing it all the time. Do you know why? They've got nothing else going on because they're poor. Because these same people that I see on a weekly basis doing the litter picking and that, I promise you, if they won the lottery and they came into 50 million, and they had friends going out for brunch every fucking day, going to a new restaurant, new five-star restaurant for brunch and that. If they had friends waiting to, for them to jump on a yacht, 
friends waiting for them to jump fly on a jump on a private plane to go to fucking America and Jamaica and that. You think these motherfuckers be doing litter picking with 50 million in the bank? No, it's because they're poor and they ain't got nothing else going on. So they need to fill their void with bullshit like litter picking. And that. Everyone's got a void that they need to fill and that, but people choose to fill it with bullshit. Man want to go backpack hiking or, or in the Himalayas for a year or two years. But go do some fucking work, man. When, when a man tells me, when I hear a man, because there was a man at my workplace, this is at Harringay Council, talking about, yeah, he's going to go backpack hiking for a year and that. It's going to take a year out on that. Fam, you ain't got nothing going on. You think I could go and disappear for a year, let alone a month? I was thinking about it because I've always thought about it. It's like, yeah, I would go on Big Brother in it because you can imagine, yeah, with my sort of character and that, me interacting with other people, it will be very entertaining, yeah? And I thought about it the other day, like, oh, imagine they, they wanted me to go on um, the Big Brother show, innit? it? I was thinking, nah, I wouldn't even want to go on it, you know? Like, who's going to maintain my properties and that? Because I don't know how the team runs. I don't know if you can phone people on a daily basis. I don't know if they're putting you in, like, it's coming like jail, blood, being on, in the Big Brother house and that. I've got things going on. I've got responsibilities and that. I've got three fucking properties. I've got six tenants that could call me up any time for problems that they need solving and that. Yeah, I don't have no one else that, that runs my properties apart from me. So I, I, I don't even know if I put, I'll just, I'll need to find someone that can, I can really trust. Obviously I can trust my girl and that, but you know what I mean, isn't it? Like still, I, I feel like I've got too much responsibility to just disappear for a few months to go on some fucking show. And that. Obviously if the time came, of course, I would jump on the Big Brother house and that. Hey, you're not putting a word for me. I want to go on the Big Brother house, man. You know it would be entertaining. Fam. I'll be there mentoring everyone. Yeah? This is the reason why you're depressed. You're not a victim. 